Now, I hate to get all serious on you, but it's been truly shocking. Virtually every prominent person who helped get Trump elected has been punished. Defamed, deplatformed, sued, imprisoned, forced into retirement. Some of those people are now just ghosts from the past. They never came back. Victims of an industry that used to be called journalism, whose entire motivation is now centered around destroying people's lives. Broken souls ground up by the gears of a political machine that ruthlessly decimates dissent. The personal is political. The only guarantee in life is struggle. And the way things are heading, we're in for the biggest struggle of our lives. We're up against a system that for the past three years has tried to overturn the results of a democratic election, tried to reverse the biggest democratic mandate in the history of an entire country, tried to remould society and culture around a warped clown world alternate reality, which at its core is fundamentally hostile to reason. This is why I need you to be leaders. I need to be a leader, because the blind are leading the blind. The so-called conservative leadership consists of a bunch of spineless losers who are more interested in tone policing others and throwing people under a bus just so they can get a pat on the head from the left. More interested in acquiescing and caving in than going on the rhetorical attack and winning. Constantly playing defense isn't a winning strategy. Constantly pandering and genuflecting to the people who literally want to destroy you isn't a recipe for success. It's a guarantee of failure. Now, I've had my demons, my distractions, my desire to disappear into the background, to live a normie life. My desire to take the easy path, to follow. But all that has to be set aside. The time for following is over. It's time to lead. Many of us have allowed ourselves to submit to nihilism and despair. Many of us have allowed ourselves to be worn down by chemical dependency. Many of us have allowed ourselves to believe that the answers lie in other people while shirking our own responsibility. It's time to recommit. It's time to reinvigorate the spirit of 2016. Remember that? Remember how we turned the world on its head? This is what we're up against. Listen to what this ex-occupant of Soviet Russia said about their society and how it parallels our own. The purpose of official Soviet propaganda, and this of course would hold true for any totalitarian society, was not to persuade or convince, not to inform, but to intimidate and even more importantly, to humiliate people into silence and meek submissiveness by causing them to realize their utter helplessness against and thus inevitably their partial complicity in the constant onslaught of shamelessly obvious, self-evident, triumphantly invincible lies. One permanently had to exist, at least in any collective, marginally public setting, even slightly outside the tightly narrow zone of one's complete trust and personal comfort, in a state of pretend acquiescence to, and worst, forced vocal support of, the openly fraudulent and relentlessly assertive, inverted, alternative reality, whose ceaseless pressure gradually corroded and deadened one's spirit, crippled one psychologically, caused one to become cynically apathetic and inwardly ashamed of oneself because of one's total impotence to resist being a part, no matter how small, of that self-perpetuating irreality of infinite, all-out gaslighting. That is to say, just the kind of person a broken, defeated, dully obedient liar the regime found it the easiest to control. Ring any bells? Why do they need to convince you to change your opinions when they can simply make your life unlivable for expressing the opinions you have? Deplatforming, censorship, social ostracization, bank accounts cancelled, moving towards a communist-style social credit score where you're barred from buying plane and train tickets as punishment for your wrong think, where your friends are punished for merely knowing you, leaving you isolated and atomized. We're up against a truly monumental force that seeks to impose totalitarian technocracy at the expense of human dignity. But we're still here. The beacon of liberty is still blazing because you're bearing the torch. And I need you to stand beside me because the attacks will only intensify. As you know, to fight deplatforming, I'm building my own platform over at summit.news. But to turn this platform into the juggernaut that I know it can be, I need your support. Writers, camera crews, editors, 
it's not cheap. Please visit the subscribe star link in the description box below to amplify my voice in these times of mass silencing and big tech censorship. To those who already donate, I'm eternally grateful. To those who can't afford to donate, that's fine. Just please share this video and get on the free email list at summit.news forward slash newsletter. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And with your help, myself and others can fully recommit to leading you out of the other side.